record-breaking, hardcore track-ready weapon. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, I want to talk briefly about the new news from Subaru of America. On June 8th, Subaru announced that they are coming out with two new sports models, uh, one being the BRZ TS edition, and the other, which I'm much more excited about than the BRZ, is the Subaru WRX STI RA edition. Now, they released some specifications online as to what the uh, what the cars themselves are going to include as far as the performance bump up from the regular WRX STI and the regular BRZ. Um, so bear with me here. Uh, I have uh, some cheat sheets here on my phone that I'm going to just kind of uh, talk about a few of the uh, like points here on uh, each thing that the new models are going to contain. So let's talk about the WRX STI RA edition. So what they're calling this, or some sources are calling this STI Type RA, is that it is a record-breaking, hardcore track-ready weapon. So essentially, it's meant to take on the Nurburgring uh, like no other STI, you know, before its time. So a few of the things that Subaru has revealed to the public as to what this STI model is going to contain. Uh, it has a carbon fiber roof, so the full roof is going to be carbon fiber, and it's going to be actual. Um, it's going to show the actual carbon fiber, so it's not going to be painted over. You're actually going to see the true uh, detail of the carbon fiber itself, which is pretty cool. It's supposed to be a nice lightweight roof. In addition, it's going to have a ton of chassis upgrades, so they're going to make it even stiffer than the current generation STI, and actually even stiffer than the new 2018 models that are coming out with some revisions to their suspension as well. So engine wise, still has the same 2.5 liter EJ motor. No surprise there, didn't think they were gonna you know, come up with a brand new motor for the 2018 model since they were already released the specs for 2018. I'd expect something like that to come out in another few years when the full refresh happens. Though it's the same motor, there are some power bumps and some performance gains as well. So they're bumping the power up from 305 to 310 horsepower. Wow, crazy amounts of power gains, right? I mean, at this point, we'll take whatever, even if, though it's from the same motor. I would have been more upset with that if they changed the motor and kept the power range around the same. What they're saying is that this, the additional power is due to upgrades to a new cold air intake system and some updates to the exhaust system, as well as a retune. Details behind the tune uh, have not been released yet, so we're not quite sure exactly what's going to be happening, if it's going to... Uh, tweak up the boost pressure or anything like that. Not sure yet. I'm sure Subaru will release, release that information um, as you know we get closer to the production or release date for these vehicles. The one thing that I am super excited about, call it, I don't know if I want to call it super excited. I'm more so jealous, but I'm, I'm impressed and I'm kind of happy to see that Subaru is finally realizing the weakness of these EJ motors is that they're creating stronger pistons within the motor. That's all they really say. They don't really tell us, you know, you know, what's going to happen if it's, you know, total forged internals or what's happening. They just kind of mentioned that the pistons are stronger. So we'll have to wait and hear from that. So I'm, I'm wondering, or I'm, I'm hoping that, um, you know, these motors will be a bit more reliable at least. So if you do, you know, turbo back and a tune, you know, don't expect them to blow up or even some of these stock EJ motors have been blowing up as well, even, you know, when you take care of them. So it's all a matter of luck, but hopefully, you know, they, you know, they help these motors last a little bit longer, you know, uh, with these uh, stronger pistons. So that's, that's a huge plus right there. I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, they also mentioned that the six speed manual transmission is the only transmission that is going to be available on these models. Glad they're doing that as well with a slight tweak. They're saying that the third gear is going to have a revised ratio. Not really sure if it's gonna be shorter or longer. I'm, I'm not quite sure yet, but that also is gonna be coming with a short throw shifter. 
I'm not sure if it's going to be similar or if it's going to be exactly the same as the optional short throw shifters provided in the WRX and ST mod STI models currently. Could be that or it could be an upgraded short throw shifter. We'll have, you know, we'll have to wait and find out about that uh, as time goes on. I'm just going to read these off here just because there's a there's a big list of suspension upgrades here for the STI RA edition. So it's going to come with inverted struts, a rear double wishbone suspension, Bilstein dampers on all four corners. So I'm curious to know how much stiffer this uh, this the ride is going to be for these cars. I, I, you know, can we even daily these cars? I'm, I mean, I'm sure there are people that drive <laughs> slammed cars that are you know back breaking. But you know, could this still be technically a dailyable car? It's a very good question. I'm not you know I'm not sure, but it's probably going to handle like a beast. I can uh, I can assure you that comes with a STI tuned vehicle dynamic control system to keep you in check in case you get a little too sideways because people have been having way too many issues getting sideways in WRX and STIs. Um, with 305 crank horsepower and I'm sure that five <laughs> that additional 5x of horsepower is gonna make you you know show up at Drift Central well whatever <laughs> I mean um, I guess that's a that's a cool uh, that's a cool upgrade I'm, I'm not really sure you know what that is going to to contain but you get that as well the exterior is gonna come with upgraded 19 inch BBS forged alloy wheels wrapped in a different set of tires this is uh pretty unique so we're get we're going away from dunlops and we're going to yokohama admin sport tires i'm not sure i don't know the specs of those tires i don't know if they've been rated you know uh, great or to be superior to or much superior to the dunlops that come on the sti models themselves but we'll have to wait and see i'm assuming if they you know change them from the dunlops that have been on these cars for a few generations now it's got to be it's got to be stickier it's got to be better i'm not sure if the bbs wheels that are coming on these cars are going to be similar to the ones on the base or limited wrx uh 2018 wrx sti models i don't know if they're going to be brand new but i did hear or actually i did read that it is going to be coming in a gold color option which is iconic to go back to the original STI rally days, which I'm, I'm glad they're finally bringing that option back. So the last time we were able to have a gold option on the STIs were on the 2015 launch edition STIs that came standard with the limited BBS wheels in gold, which was pretty nice. So I'm glad we're finally going back to see more of the gold as an option at, uh, at the very least. So I know a lot of people really dig the whole rally blue and the gold wheels option on these cars. It's going to also come with carbon fiber pedestal wing which is manually adjustable depending on how much downforce you want if you want to go for increased speed or if you want to have more drag so you can actually stick to the road better glad they're giving the driver the uh, the ability to change the style of the wing themselves the STI is also going to come with silver painted brake calipers with cross drilled rotors and they are six piston Brembo brakes up front and I don't have the details on the rear they haven't released that I'm assuming it's still going to be the two pot that currently comes on the STIs but I would expect that the brakes are going to be exactly the same as the 2018 base and limited WRX STIs uh, we we're not sure if it's going to be different or not but the only difference that we see so far is that they're silver painted, not, you know, uh, instead of that crazy highlighter yellow color. There will only be 500 units for this Type RA model STI being produced all throughout the world. So I don't think it's just 500 for the U.S. I think it's for whatever markets that are accepted for production of this vehicle. It's just a total of 500, which drastically increases the limit the limited factor for this and makes it way rarer than a lot of cars out there i mean 500 for a subaru that's that's pretty cool and this isn't just you know a subaru wrx sti that's same as every single sti but you get like blue seats or something like that you know it this has a lot of upgrades in it there's a lot of upgrades in this car i know i made a video and i'll put the link here somewhere or i'll pop it up somewhere here 
about how I'm not going to be buying the new 2018 WRX STI or WRX STI Limited. That I'm sticking to because I don't really see drastic changes in that, that if I really wanted, I could I could do it in my car. However, this Type RA looks so good. It is so tempting right now for me to actually put a deposit on the Type RA. That thing is a track beast. I mean, it comes amazing. I mean, look at the spoiler. Look at the wheels. Well, we don't really have full details on the wheels, but just look at the car itself. The only thing I dislike about the car is still that front bumper of the 2018 refresh. I, I really don't like it, but forget that. That's not a big deal. The bumper is a bumper, whatever. It still looks decent. The performance gains in this car are incredible. You got the Recaro seats inside. It just looks amazing inside. Uh, it's going to handle, I mean, far better than the jump from the last generation to the 2015 plus models. Um, I'm going to assume that's what they're making it sound like. So this is a this is a really super exciting uh, time for this car. I'm curious to know what you know what this thing can do. What you know what it can lay down. The tuning aspect. You know, uh, right now the STIs are, are making about 240. To 245 ish wheel horsepower if you're lucky uh it's all dependent on the type of dyno you're using but i know the the type ra is getting five more horsepower but with the you know with the upgraded pistons you know or stronger pistons i and a, and a retune i'm i'm curious to know like is it going to be upwards of 260 270 wheel horsepower and you know if you do a retune or a pro tune with very very minor upgrades like a turbo back and that's it I'm, I'm can you make even more power is it going to be super reliable that's that's huge news and i'm trying really really hard to find some negative things about this car to not jump into the the type ra so let me know your thoughts uh have you you know read about the the new type ra sti what do you think about it do you think it's just a gimmick do you think it's just going to be a letdown just like um, you know, the refresh to the 2018 models, dying to get one. Should I jump into one? You know, uh, maybe you can convince me to jump, to put a deposit on it even sooner. You think this is going to be a game changer for the STI? You think it's going to put the, put Subaru back on the map as far as performance vehicles go? Do you think it's going to be, I mean, I'm curious to know what this thing will be like when you put it head to head against the Focus RS. Uh, now, since everyone's budding the STI to the Focus RS, you think it's gonna be better than that. Hope you enjoyed this brief discussion. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more content. But thanks for watching and stay tuned. Thanks.